Welcome to Model Horse Tax School. My name is Carrie, and today we're going to look at youth and barrel racing. Now, at first I sat really close to the rail thinking I could get better pictures, but the rail was in the way. Uh, basically, barrel racing, I mean, I've talked about this. There's your clover leaf pattern, um, there's your rider, um, there's your horse. So, what we're looking for here, uh, I moved to a higher vantage point. Um, is what models could you use to create a, um, a performance entry? Uh, look, they've got Wrangler uh, fabric covers on the barrels. If you notice that, we went over barrels and you could see that they're covered. Um, now I'm a little bit further away, but we're just looking for, um, you know, a horse that's turning, a horse that's running into a barrel, um, a horse that's running away from a barrel. So you know, take a good look at this because if you want to make it realistic, you got to see there's the, oops, a little bit wide into, away from, and then uh, make sure you get the lead right. Okay, so the horse uh, has got to be on the right lead when it turns the barrel. Um, this is youth. They're not perfect. Um, they, you know, they get the angles wrong. They're at least three, four, even five seconds uh, slower than the uh, top barrel racers, um, but they, um, and seconds matter in barrel racing, but I just want you to see uh, what it looks like. Um, different horses do things differently. That was a very good run. She was nice and close. Um, what the rider looks like if you want to use one. Now, these are reference photos um, so that you can kind of see uh, it's better than slow motion, but it'll give you an idea um, what the background looks like. Um, this is the horse going into the barrel. You got the horse going around the barrel. And then you got the horse coming out of the barrel. You got more around. So you're going to have to have the body turning um, in order to capture that. The horse is a little bit straighter here coming out um, and then heading off to the other barrel. So I was thinking about just putting some music in here, but getting some free music to use in videos on YouTube is not that easy. But uh, here you go. Just go ahead and enjoy these stills that I was able to get. Um, try and match the movement to the model horse. Um, that's what I do when I look at this. Um, if it's a horse in your collection, better yet um might have to create a different type of uh, ground for the horses maybe even holders for the hoods so you can get them to turn because uh, a lot of them they're turning there at an angle now when you're doing a photo show it's relatively easy to prop them up behind the barrel where the judge can't see um it's usually what i would do but uh oh I, that's a model horse we all know um, but that's, you know, up to you live. You would, uh, be hard pressed to be able to do that without it being obvious. I suppose you could get a, um, some of those acrylic dowels and use those to try and prop them. Um, but really you're looking for, um, a model that's already in that position or could be seen as actually doing, you know, this this particular event. Um, also, if you're going to use a rider, it's good to see where the rider's hands are on the reins. And um, so if I was going to go to a live show, I probably would print out, it's hard to do because I don't have a color printer, but I would print out uh, something that looks like the model that I'm using. Um, some of these are so far away. You can't see the rider. I apologize. I just don't have, you know, three or $4,000 to spend on a good zoom for my Canon, but there you go. That should help. Um, if you can go to a live event yourself and get some pictures, that would be probably helpful for you. Um, that's how I do my research and try to get as close as possible. So enjoy. I appreciate you spending time with me today. Like, subscribe, tell all your friends about this channel, share it, and have yourself a really good day.